Hi everybody, welcome to this brief explanation of expert systems. These are systems that are based on facts, rules, and inferring a result based on the facts and the rules that the expert system stores. Now to help us understand these ideas, we're going to look at an example of an extremely basic expert system, which is based on um, declarative programming. Now, declarative programming is also based on facts, rules, and inferring, and so is often used to design expert systems. So, first of all, let's um, create some facts and store them in the expert system. So, for example, here's a fact, and here's a fact. And here's another fact. And here's another fact. <laughs> and let's just uh, do a few more. So I am a, I'm a human and I'm just entering data into the expert system. Okay. So we're creating some facts. Um, let's just change the way I'm wording that. Enter facts into the knowledge base. So the knowledge base is the part of the expert system where everything, all the facts are stored. This is known as the knowledge base. And here is an example of some facts being stored in the knowledge base. And often these facts are entered into the expert system by a human. And let's call that human a knowledge engineer. Okay. Now in order for the knowledge engineer to enter these facts into the knowledge base, there needs to be some kind of an interface. For example, um, a keyboard and a monitor. A very simple example of an interface. So these are required in the expert system in order to enter facts into the knowledge base. Okay, so these are the facts stored in the knowledge base. Okay, I'm just going to put in some more interesting facts. Let's say that one fact is that Jack has a cat as a pet and Jill also has a cat and Mo. as a dog. So these are all facts that we're entering into the knowledge base. Okay. Now we're going to design a rule. Okay. Now this is the rule. Z wants a pet Y if Z is a person and Y is an animal. So this is a very simple rule that we're going to put into our expert system. Okay, it's also going to store rules. So let's just write this rule as in a declarative programming. So this is what we're going to do. Wants pet. So Z is a person who wants the pet Y if Z is a person. So we already have uh, an idea of person facts, so this should be recognized. And Y is an animal. So this rule is also going to be stored in the expert system. We execute the rule using an inference engine. Now what the inference engine does is it looks at the rule, it goes through the knowledge base trying to figure out if this is possible. And looking at all the different facts and all the different logic associated with the rule, 
it infers a result. That means it gives its conclusion. Now, depending on the complexity of the rule, the conclusion may or may not be correct, but to a human expert, the expert system's conclusion may be useful. Okay, so this is another thing about expert systems. They make conclusions based on rules and facts, but they don't really make decisions. They just make conclusions. Human experts look at the conclusion and the human expert usually makes the decision. Okay, so that's a very brief introduction to expert systems.